everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to my video. Today I am creating Chloe Price from the Life is Strange Before the Storm game. If you are unsure of this game, it is basically a interactive game where you follow this troubled teen named Chloe Price around and help her make decisions. Now, this game is so intense and so amazing. The storyline is pretty, like troubled like she's a troubled teenager so it's a very interesting um, storyline and um, it's also used to be an indie game and the indie game um, previous to this version of the game um, followed a another girl named Max and Max met Chloe now in this version Max went away and now Chloe we are making decisions for Chloe um so this game is so powerful and the graphics are amazing and it's just a really awesome game now I haven't personally played this game but I've been watching a lot of let's plays of it and the previous version of the game and um I love it it's just really cool so the let's play that I have actually been following is of Kaya was she makes the let's play uh, or streams the let's play over on her twitch and then she transfers it to her second channel so i've been keeping up with her um path in the game and watching her play it and this is actually kind of a collab with kaya kaya made another main character called rachel over on her channel so you have to go check her out if you know the game then you probably know who rachel is so if you know who rachel is and just is curious then you should head over to Kaya's channel and see how she made it I I've, I've actually seen her already and I think it's amazing and Chloe and Rachel are just a really cool duo um, so you just need to go over to her channel and check her out now when you are making a character or a real-life person in the Sims it can get very tricky so in the most half of this video you have seen me mess around with her features because I feel like when you're making a character that is the biggest key to making them look like how you want them to look um so I've just played around a lot with the features and making them look as close to Chloe Price as I possibly could. So if you are kind of bored with watching me do the features and stuff like that, I'm sorry, but that's is how you like make creative. That's how you make characters and make real life people is you play around with the features as much as possible. And it still is kind of hard because The Sims only has so many sliders that you can make the face look original um, or look like a real life person. So it does get complicated. But I also downloaded the hair for her and I'm not sure who the creator is but I'm going to leave it in the description and if I don't please comment and let me know because I might forget um but this hair is basically like Chloe's hair in the game and um I needed this hair to really mimic the way Chloe is and also for her outfit I made her shirt um i made the cc for her shirt because her shirt is very special here you are seeing it now this is one of the outfits you can choose in the game and i thought it went really well um with her style and um it just looks like from the video game so i'm super happy about that and i think that shirt turned out really well also i'll try and link that below if you would like it too but i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here thank you so much for watching be sure to give it a thumbs up an upvote or subscribe because it'd be fun to have you a part of the family and um i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and also, I forgot to mention, I ended up putting her into Ode Chloe's clothes in the screenshots at the end. I thought it would be fun and already had some stuff that looked like her um, outfits and looked like her old style. So if you want to see that, stick around until about now because we're in the screenshots already. Wow, that's fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye